Yeah, let's let's continue. Uh, as before, m music on Discord. If anyone wants, optional. But otherwise, game audio will just be non-music. Okay. I try not to die. As this part is a bit tricky. During the break, <laughs> if you haven't seen on Discord already, the other night when Lelo was here, we we're talking about just food, I guess. And this food item came up in conversation that was... What the fuck was it called? A, a snickle? Pretty much a snickers inside a, uh... A pickle. A cursed object. And as I was just eating and browsing stuff... Something equally cursed came up. Related to what we were talking about. Which is... We don't have this product here in Australia, but I know what they are. They were, uh... Those fruit gushes or whatever. So someone, someone shoved them in a pickle. Much like the, uh... The Snickers in a pickle. It's fruit gushes in a pickle. This is... I'd say the third time where Lelo and I have had a conversation about something. And then... Pretty much... Right away... It just pops up somewhere, whether it be in real life, or in the feed or something, like, I see it again. No idea why. Anyway. I need mana. Thought it was worth mentioning. Yeah, I don't know. It could be one of these dumb trends that's happening. Where, like, uh... It's just stupid stuff. Comedy. Comedy food. If you want to take a look at cursed food items, you know what? what's a very messed up topic to look up? Pizza. Bad, there's multiple accounts that are dedicated to bad pizza. And these accounts are mixed with uh, genuinely bad pizza, and then I guess what you would refer to as comedy pizza. What do I mean by pizza? I don't want to go down the rabbit hole, but... Like... They do pizza in Brazil in a very, very strange way. And you can tell it's Brazilian pizza by a few, uh, signs, like... For whatever reason, sometimes they'll segment the pizza and then in the middle of it... The center, there'll be like a... A disc of dough... That will contain some other food item, like a whole chicken. Or they'll do, like, a corner pizza where, like, one corner will be dessert, then another one will be, like, main course. Another sign is, like... I don't know why, but they use tiny olives as, like, a garnish. Now, I'm not one to speak on pizza. As my qualifications for it, like, I wouldn't say rank the highest. But, I mean, I... I can tell. <laughs> or it's just like, mm, that's comedy pizza. I mean... We Australians have had some pretty abomination creations in terms of pizza, right? Like, for a while... Um, Pizza Hut here was selling 
this uh this type of pizza right Not here. so i might be able to get a picture of it but i'll describe it so you know how there's stuffed crust right so imagine the the basis of stuffed crust and then imagine on the outside of the stuffed crust again there are these tiny discs and inside these tiny discs they hold a meat pie and they're kind of like i think they had six in total all right no i, I have to find this <laughs> otherwise you won't get it um but thanks for the follow hold on pizza hut pie oh. It was, it was ridiculous. Yes, this is the one. Got it. The 4 and 20 meat pie pizza. Oh, damn it. I need to find one that isn't a WebP. Unless the new OBS supports WebP, that would be a huge upgrade. Let's see. I'm gonna try. It does. Oh, that's an upgrade. Alright, OBS. Good job. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. So, you know, we, we've uh, contributed our own pizza abominations, right? It doesn't look like that, by the way. That, obviously, that's marketing pizza. If you've had pizzas from these places, you know that they have, like, less than half of the toppings pictured, pictured here. But each one of those little things are just... They're a meat pie. I'm going to see if I can find someone trying it. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. One sec. <laughs> Expectations versus reality. There you go. Does that look like the picture? That That is what it is. Anyway. It just never looks like that. Still want? Eh, I mean... I reckon once, it'd be okay. Alright, but since I'm in town, alright, I'll let, like... Okay, since... Since we're on the topic, fuck it. Give me a sec here. You might- I might lose the signal. Since we're on the topic, I'll- I'll introduce you to the world of Brazilian pizza. Okay? Some of this is comedy pizza. Uh, ba ba there. So, I mean, this is an example of Brazilian pizza that I was talking about. This is a common thing. It's like they'll have a four, a quadrant type design, and then they'll have dessert in the middle. This is just straight up comedy pizza. I'm sorry. All right, like not meant to be taken seriously, but you can see like a sign of it. They'll use these tiny little olives as a uh, as garnish, so to speak. And that's how you can tell it's Brazilian pizza. This is a rabbit hole I've gone down, um, unfortunately. Just shitty pizzas and strange pizzas. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure like some of these sections, the ingredients they have are fine. But then, when we kind of, like, go towards this length, where it's a whole fucking chicken in the middle, dude, you don't need to serve that together. Why? Why? Two separate meals. 
Anyway. There's, there's a little bit of a, a culture shock for you. <laughs> there are accounts dedicated to shitty pizza, so... If you want to go down the rabbit hole, uh, go check them out. Okay, anyway, the screen is resetting, so don't worry. I was swapping monitor sources, because I am playing this on a different source. So I get my 4K. 20 meals in that one. Yeah, to be fair, I think some of them are party platters. Which makes sense. But then there's others where they will legitimately do that. Um, and then, you know, there's regional ingredients. Like, corn apparently is an ingredient they use quite a bit. Um, but that I, I won't really make fun of. Because I, it's a regional thing. Right? Like, Kat, for example, talks about the banana curry pizza that's in Sweden, and she swears by it. And that is something that I personally wouldn't hunt out here. However, if I was over there, I'd, I'd try it. Um... I mean, here in Australia, the Aussie pizzas is like bacon... The Aussie quote is like bacon and egg and onion. And the American pizza, get this, is like pretty much just bacon and pepperoni. The banana curry pizza sounds good. Yeah, I, I understand it conceptually because, um, like I grew up where we use plantains quite a bit in cooking. So, I- that isn't so much of a stretch for me. <laughs> but wait, those pizzas would make you vomit? Uh, I mean, some of them, they're not too bad. They look normal, I think, in terms of the toppings. It's just overkill. Like, some of them, I think that it's either a party situation where there's a platter involved. Or another one, I guess, could be that they're just trying to be funny, right? Don't call out your pizza. I mean, hey, listen, I, I don't... I don't have anything against those ingredients. It's just, uh, not common. I will say I, I would know a lot of Italians that would, uh, scream internally if they even heard the word banana and pizza in the same sentence. So. You kind of want to try it? Yeah, I mean, it's piqued my curiosity, and if I do end up traveling to that part of the world one day, like, I'll, I'll try it. Much like if I go to America, I expect to, like, just have my arteries injected with the stuff that I'm like, oh, that is just overkill. As long as we don't get into pineapple. I mean... There's a science between salt and sweet, so... I'm not gonna open that can of worms for debate. Me, personally, though, I'll say not my thing. But if it's the only thing there, I'll have a slice. I'm not adverse to it. I just, it wouldn't be like a, a choice. Like if we're getting something, I wouldn't select it. Let's put it that way. What's wrong with pineapple on pizza? Well, you go with purist. If 
if you go with the pizza purists, like, there's things that shouldn't be on a pizza. Pi fruit is one of them. And the other one is you shouldn't have chicken on a pizza. I believe. Like, those are the two that uh, purists say are, like, a big no-no. There's a place near you that does fresh pineapple instead of canned. That's amazing. That would be pretty nice, I think. But I know it's not for everyone. Tomato is fruit. Yeah, uh, listen. You can be that asshole that, like... Is, if you get asked for someone, hey, can you go to the store and buy me some fruit? You're not going to be that asshole that comes back with a tomato and says, well, it's fruit. It's like, listen, we get it. It's classified as fruit. But when people are talking about fruit in the colloquial term, tomato usually doesn't come under that category. It just doesn't. Okay. Like, don't be that guy. I get it. It's technically a fruit. You're, you're pretty much like that dude in Stardew Valley that, you know, has to be a know-it-all and is like, yeah, well, tomato is a fruit. It's like, yes, it is technically a fruit. It is classified. But if I tell you to make me a fruit salad and you put peach, banana, and tomato on it, I'm going to fucking give you a dirty look. Like, you're just being a pedantic prick. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's bigger things in life than being 100% correct and accurate on things. Like, sometimes people don't mean the things they mean. Literally. Like... I'm not sorry. Uh, I mean, you're kind of right. Imagine you're, you're like, you're in charge of a birthday cake for your office, right? And you ask, what is the birthday girl like? And the office manager says, oh, she likes fruit. And then you come back with a cake with tomato on it. Like, I'm sorry. People are going to call you a fucking moron. Yes, you're technically correct. Yes, it's technically a fruit cake. But you're an idiot. Like, you're just an asshole at that point. <laughs> Tech yes, technically an idiot. Couldn't have put it any better. The only time I will say that you could get away with that is that you're known to be a comedian of sorts and you have a rapport where you joke. Like, that's an inside joke where you've debated about that at some point. Right? But other than that, like... Yeah. Fruit on a pizza. And you know what I mean by that. That is one of the things that uh, pizza purists don't want. And chicken. The one thing I do agree with, with the purists for pizza, is that less is more, in a sense that, yeah, you know, a pizza with eight, in eight different toppings, probably not as good as one with three.
What purists do I mean? Well, there are purists. My Italian friend is definitely a pizza purist. Like, he will not... He will not entertain eating a pizza that has pineapple or chicken on it. Or barbecue sauce. Like, for him, a pizza has to be something that is, like, done in a, in a proper wood fire oven. It has to have, like, burning on the crust. Even to the level of sauce, right? Like... Fuck, I forgot how he explained it, but, like, the way they do sauce as well. Cheese can't be all over the pizza, like, it has to be, like, little balls of mozzarella. So it's not all, all over the whole thing. But, like, he's describing effectively traditional pizza. Not Americanized pizza. That's, that's, I guess, what it is. <laughs> he showed me this- I wonder if- I wonder if it's still up, but... He showed me this alignment chart of pizza and sauces. When I get to the next waypoint, I'll try and dig it up, but... Yeah. Cheese balls. No, no, but that's how they do it. They... Like, if you get a, mar a traditional margarita pizza, it's mainly sauce, and then they just put, like, little balls of, uh, mozzarella, like, you know, homemade on top, and then basil. And then the cheese kind of melts outwards, and yeah, that's- that's how they do it. Yeah, they tear it as well. Yeah, exactly. I need mana. So that's how he has cheese on pizza. He won't have, like, the shredded kind. Like, the three cheese blend mixes or stuff that they sell at the supermarket. Shit, my minion died and I'm out of mana. Okay, hold on. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh... Pizza... Sauce alignment... Chart? I think that's what it was. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Give me a sec. Another WebP, but I don't have to worry about WebP now. Now it actually works. In OBS. Good job, OBS. There you go. So that- that top left is my friend's ideal pizza. That is to him... Well, maybe excluding the dough. Like, to him it would have to be like a, a burnt a little bit, but that to him would be acceptable. That to him would be acceptable, right? But yeah, like... Oh, yeah, feta cheese. That's another thing he, f he despises. Like, that's another pizza purist thing. Anyway. <laughs> Are you sure you want to delete this image? Yes, I do. It melts out, but it's weird that it's a blob of cheese in one area. I mean... Try it, it's- it's good, like... Not in town. An Italian restaurant that does a wood-fired pizza will do it that way, and they're pretty good. It's like a good distribution and ratio. It's- it's not bad. Oh, I need more money. <laughs> Neutral good as a casserole. It is, isn't it? I also should not hold this much money on me, but unfortunately the UI to uh, change the money quantity is not good. What do you need? 
If you don't doubt it's good, you're always open to try things in your head. That doesn't sit right. So let me get this straight. You're adverse to a tiny ball of cheese on a pizza, but banana and curry, that your mind is like, okay, normal. Just, just making sure here. Brain is okay with that one. You don't eat cheese like a weirdo. I don't know. I think this is definitely a case of don't knock it until you try it. And that is the way pizza's done originally. So... I didn't resurrect my follow, I'll get it later. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say it till the next checkpoint, but I got it. Resurrect Alexa. I have skills to use, I think because of that quest. Okay, so now we have evade, and we can use that and that. Okay, cool. I try to keep him, like, equal at this point. I think that's where I'm going to leave Plague Javelin for now and then invest the rest in Charge Strike. Stay a while and listen. You're very open to trying it, you just have a weird mental image of it. But I guess that's the thing that I question is... So, did you have a weird mental image of banana curry pizza? The mac and cheese pizza, I feel like, is, is a meme. It's like... Probably done somewhere in a small town, and they became known for it. And then it probably spread across the region. You, I said banana, but you like bananas. Do you, do you like, uh... Like chocolate? What if I said, like, chocolate... ...and steak? Those are two things you like, but that doesn't mean... ...that they go well together, or won't form a weird image. Fresh mozzarella is, is far less salty than the stuff most pizza places use, and it's also mostly creamy and not super rich, it's good. Yes. That is the other thing, there is a big difference between the two. Um... It's... it's different. It's quite nice to have, like, on uh, one of those cheese platter things. And Italian smoked meats are pretty good. You're comparing Americanized shitty cheese to mozzarella. You've had it before and it was good. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, for me, right, like... My Americanized battle is with, uh, hard shell tacos, because that is an Americanized form. Any sort of- with the exception of nachos, right? Like, crispy tortillas. I don't know, dude. Soft corn tortilla is the only taco shell you'll need. Good. That's how it should be.
Yeah, the Tadakan concept is wild. That's just, uh... An example of overkill. It's something that I don't think I would try. <laughs> it's everything wrong with American food. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know. I can't comment. I'm kind of surprised Australian food is, is decent. When you put aside the, uh... I guess, the bogan food, as some people call it. We have a pretty good food culture here. I think the capture card glitched. I can't hear the game audio anymore. Hold up. Why not? Oh, I think I know why. Okay. I think I know why. I get it. Because they're coming out the same audio channel. There we go. It's okay. You won't notice what I've done. I've done it on my end. You won't hear it. But now I can hear the game audio better. Haha. -ha. I do need to hear it. The sound lets me know about danger. Which is a very important thing to be aware of. I think it's just the music I'm listening to now is just louder, so that's why it was harder to notice the game audio. Good timing. Why do we need three birds in one? Whose idea was was it? There's a lot of things where you you ask why do we need that? It just happens. I should be using my employee discount here. How are we looking? I suppose I need to start putting points in this, because at 30, we will unlock it. How far away from 30? Six levels. One, two, three, four. And then five, six. Okay, so I need to start saving points now. Oh, cool. I can use the higher armor value now. Okay. Uh, I need to backtrack because I didn't go to the forge. See, I had my first real... I would say uh, one of the overkill American foods, which is the chili dog, recently. And, man, <laughs> it tasted good, but it, it, it fucking shuts you down. It really does.
Like, is that is that basically the culinary experience? Is just food that's meant to shut you down completely after you eat it? A lot of American food shuts you down. Okay. Must make it a difficult place to visit. If you are... If you're having food, like... And then trying to do anything productive afterwards. Where is this thing? It's the carbs, it's also a lot of fast food, you're trying to break from it. Yeah, see if I was to look up food, I would avoid fast food, I guess. Because listen, the chains we have here in Australia that are American, they're better. Like, McDonald's here in Australia is objectively better. Same with KFC. Burger King might be the only one where you're like, yeah, maybe they're about equal. I think the only fast food places I would have kind of a curiosity on and I don't know if they're, like, super fast food, but I guess they made a big deal about in and out here, so I would want to try that. Um, and then the fried chicken places, because, you know, I'm a sucker for chicken. That's basically it. Anything else? Like, I could, I could leave it. <laughs> I, I think I'm good. You eat mostly non-American food. You have a burger and fries every now and then, but meh. Yeah. I feel like that's how I would live. in and out is overrated. Five Guys is better. I have heard Five Guys as well. But I guess the American burger experience. I would never do the taco stuff. The only thing I would get from Taco Bell would be, like, that beverage they came up with for Taco Bell. As we only have one flavor of Mountain Dew here, any other flavor of Mountain Dew just seems like wild and magical to me. Sorry, Taco Bell lovers, but... You know. <laughs> My, uh, Central American heritage just... I can't make that leap. I can just picture... My mom, like, slapping me on the back of the head, saying that she can make better stuff at home and that it's basically cardboard what I'm eating. What do you mean? Esos tacos son de cartón! She wouldn't say that, but she'd laugh at it at the very least. I gotta hit a taco truck in a parking lot. Yeah. Food trucks is another thing. Well, that doesn't classify as, as fast food, right? Like, I'm speaking strictly fast food here. I don't- I don't classify food trucks as fast food. I mean, sure. Maybe chain is the better way to say it. I was speaking strictly of chain type stuff and things that have more than one location. Everything else I'm, I'm open to, right?
things are annoying. I dislike any enemy that resurrects or just gives you more enemies. Because when they're in a pack, oh boy. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'll ask the question. If you knew I was visiting America, what would be the, the food spot you would take me to? That you'd swear by and be like, this is an experience like none other. And you'll be talking about this on stream for years. That's a high bar, it is. That's why I asked the question. It's thought provoking. You gotta think. You would take me to Blue Pacifica. What is Blue Pacifica? But. I need money. Not enough money. Not enough money. I need to get more money out. There's a hole in the wall Korean place in Beaverton. There's a place called Beaverton where they hand pull their noodles in front of you and it's the fucking best. Okay, hand pulled noodles are, are fucking awesome. I'm quite the fan of uh, like the Chinese variant here. I would I would enjoy that. Okay, that, that sounds really good. Good choice. I think I might just have to leave my follower, like it's too much of a expenditure to get them. And they're probably just gonna die right away. Yep, this is my reality. It's kind of like a buffet, but not really. You take what you want, an assortment of fresh veggies, meat, spices, herbs, sauces. They cook it on a large flat top for all to see. Okay. Interesting. That sounds cool. I need mana. Definitely nothing here that is of that description. So if I was to go to the buffet and take a whole chicken, they would prepare a whole chicken for me in front of me. Is, is that what you're saying? This part is slow, but this area has probably the most experience in the game. I need mana. Do I like sushi? Yeah. I do, and... I love Japanese food as well. 
In winter, getting ramen is one of my favorite things to do. Like, Japanese ramen, of course. Proper broths and whatnot. There's just something about it that just relaxes me. Take me to Bamboo Sushi, and there's a legit ramen place near it. You got spicy ramen when you're sick? Nice. That does sound good. For me, it depends on the mood I'm in, like what kind of ramen I get. Sometimes it'll be your, like, house special typical tonkotsu. But then sometimes I'll, uh, I'll go the spicy ramen. This place I used to go to near where I worked, they did this, uh, whiskey ramen. Where they, like, infuse it with whiskey to give it flavor, and it was pretty good. Once. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. The place is popular because it's one of the few places that does, that has, uh, vegetarian alternatives, which is difficult for a lot of ramen stuff because it involves bone, right? Or, yeah, so that's why it's popular. But it's not popular because of that. That just increases its popularity. Their lunch deal was awesome. You get ramen, and then you had a choice of gyoza or like a small bowl of uh, like fried rice. Or for like an extra two dollars, you get both. I need mana. Very good lunch deal. I will say that's like one of the things that I do miss about going to an office is just during lunchtime going out somewhere if we felt like it. You have zero restraint when it comes to gyoza. <laughs> you would like that place. That place has like I think five or six different varieties of gyoza. It's not just the one, like you have to pick. I think I've shown the menu on stream before. But yeah, it's it's a good place. What do you need? You'd pick them all. Right, so you'd you'd be taking the gyoza platter. I need to be careful here. These things... Oh, fuck off. That was... That was a little annoying. It just warped me back. Like, cool rubber banding, bro. Um... Yeah, let me look this up. Okay. Right, so where's the gyoza? So they have... 
the classic, which is just pork, mince, and cabbage. They have the Kenji, which is... What is this? It says homemade chashu barbecue sauce, nanami togarashi, whatever that is. They have the Kali style, which is sriracha, cupai, mayo with parsley. The spicy with chili jam and leek. And then the assortment, which is like all four flavors. pretty good place oh man i haven't been there in a while maybe the next time i do like a trip to the office i'll uh i'll entertain going there yeah listen like if you were to ask me the same question as to where i would take you here in melbourne it's a very difficult question for me to answer like i would have to tailor it because there's, there's a bunch of stuff, right, where I will enjoy it thoroughly, but, like, it depends on what you're into. But Japanese food, that would be the place. That place specifically. Not enough mana. If you wanted to try kangaroo out, there's, uh, yeah. There's a restaurant I know of. It's like... Pretty mainstream, but they do a good job with it. It's reliable. <laughs> He'll bring the iPad so we can watch JoJo. Yeah, speaking of, should do that. The only thing you can't do is curry because it fucks with your stomach. All curry or just... Because the thing is, there's different levels, right? Like, if you're talking about... Indian, then that is the stronger type. Or, like, Japanese curry is a bit mild. I, I like Japanese curry more than Indian curry. Pretty much all curry. Got ya. That's fair. Um... If you're into, like, alcoholic beverages, there's a good place that is a brewery and a restaurant. And they do pretty good food. And, yeah, it's, it's in an area that's very, very hipster, so there's graffiti everywhere. Art installations, that sort of stuff, so it's a good area to go visit. And it's also, like, uh, massive on the coffee culture as well, so. Yeah, the coffee stuff would be, uh, interesting. I'm not gonna take you to Starbucks. <laughs> Or I could I could take you to the the one Starbucks in the city, just as lol as a shits and giggles type thing. Cause okay, even even though it's Starbucks, it's Australian Starbucks. So what they've had to do here to compete with coffee places is they've had to expand their food offerings by like a, a fuck ton. And so they'll have a lot of food items that you'll wish that they had back home. That's the only thing it'll do. In terms of Asian restaurants, I mean, if you're into super spicy stuff, any of the Sichuan places here are great. Or specifically, if you want to get dumplings, plenty of dumpling houses where they make them in front of you. Some of them doing hand-pulled noodles as well. Man. I think that, that about covers it. And then the rest is kind of stuff that... I need mana. You don't really need to go to anywhere specific to experience that, I guess.
Okay. I would definitely say the best time to visit Australia is pretty much around this time. September, October. Not here. As that is the part where winter's over, so it's stopped raining. The weather is just nice. And it doesn't get super hot. It might feel hot to some people, but it's not as hot as it gets. I think... Is, wait, that means Daylight Savings is over soon. So then it'll stay bright until like 9 o'clock at night, which is nice. <laughs> Take selfies where my head is conveniently cropped out. Now nah, we should do the joke that they do on Home Improvement with Tim Allen's neighbor. Where I'll just have like a fence covering the lower half of my face or something like that. Just... Or just get creative, like just something always in the way. I think his, his name was Wilson, right? Yeah. Not here. Anyway. Not in town. Uh, I maybe should resurrect just so you act as a meat shield. I'm a little worried because. <laughs> Diablo has a lightning attack, which is scary. Get a few jabs in. Ooh, yeah. Probably not equipped for this, but... I'll just... Poison. Just based on the damage I took from the fire, that lightning is going to fuck my shit if I try to jab him. I need mana. Being genuinely afraid of a boss, like, that's something I haven't experienced in a Diablo game for a very long time. <laughs> back and recharge my stamina. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> that scared me. No, no, no. Oh, can you stop it? Accidentally double tapped. Ooh. 
What? How did that do damage? Okay, he's nearly dead. That poison. For everything else. Okay. I knew that. Resurrect Alexa. Not here. Okay. Final act, and then that'll be the first difficulty done. Afternoon. Wait, didn't I resurrect my follower? Okay, whatever. I... I am... Not here. Oh, I don't have enough money, that's why. It's okay, I'll fix it. Uh... You have to beat the game multiple times to unlock each difficulty. Well, you can't start in the hardest difficulty because... The monster levels, there are. They're at a certain point already. And then better gear unlocks in the higher difficulties, so. What is it? Not in town. It's like that in every Diablo game. Salutations. Three does let you play like it's a bit more fluid in the sense that. Um, in adventure mode, you can just pick the difficulty, but story mode works the same way. You, uh, have to go through all the difficulties. Yeah, I mean, it's just the adventure mode in Diablo 3 that gives you that flexibility. But if you're doing story strictly, like, that's how it works. You have to clear the other difficulties first. I think I need to start collecting items to sell, as this is starting to get expensive. Did I get any skills or anything? No, okay. I'm just amazed how, like, I'm in this room with the door closed. I don't usually have it closed, but now that I installed the foam, I keep it closed, so it echoes less, but I didn't realize how warm this room gets if I close the door. I guess that makes sense, like I have the computer in here and a bunch of stuff. It just means in summer, like, there's no way I'm keeping this door closed. Not enough mana. It'll just have to be open.
I should give her a... Uh, I think I can give her an upgraded bow. Depends what level she is. Otherwise I can just rehire her if she doesn't have the level. Yeah, I mean, if you think this difficulty is hard, or looks tricky, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, sh like, I'm pretty positive that I'm going to die in the last difficulty. I mean, I'm good with this character, but I'm not sure I'm that good. Do this. What level is she? She is 22, which I think is enough. Okay, cool. She can use this. What am I? 25. It's not that big of a level difference, so. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Yep, it's not great. Okay, I can ditch this for now. Greetings. Not here. Anything useful? Nope. Good afternoon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I need to dip into the savings. Not here. I don't want to be carrying all this money around just in case something goes bad. Not here. Ah, uh, let's just do this. There we go, I'm covered. Not in town. I might start using these once twenty nine, okay. Because that'll increase my mana pool by 40%, so that'll help quite a bit. Not in town. When I hit level 30, it's gonna just increase the rate at which I'm doing this. Then I'll have Lightning Fury, which will be able to take out large hordes of enemies pretty quickly. They've definitely improved the skill, like, it does do a lot more than what I remembered. It seems more viable than before. <laughs> the thing I'm forgetting is one of the major changes of this patch was that... Um, they sort of decoupled cooldowns. So, like... If I was throwing a spear, for example, I wouldn't be able to do a summon or use another skill. Until that ended. And they changed it, so now you can multicast, which is pretty good. I can't carry it. Okay, hang on, I need to see that. Put it in the cube. Nah, it's only two socket. I was hoping for a four socket, because then I can make this item where my follower will passively give me mana, <laughs> and that means I don't have to buy mana potions.
Okay, I'll just stand here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just stand there and uh, be confused as to where I am. I'll go back and just repair real quick. You're an even. Oh, I need to get money out, don't I? Ugh. Not here. At your service. It takes too long. Like, do you want to see how bad this UI is? This is what I have to do if I want to withdraw money. I don't want to withdraw 250,000. I have to hold the down button and then do this. I don't get it. Like, they have a UI to enter a character's name. Why can't we enter a number? Anyway. Otherwise, the console experience is pretty good. That's just. That's the one little thing that I think they should fix. And there's no modifier, like I tried holding a trigger to make it go quicker, it doesn't work. No. I know, this is the kind of stuff I, I think about. Because I'm a design nerd. an elite guarding it. It's got the extra fast modifier, which is a little scary. Okay, gotcha. You read too fast for dialogue stuff? Like what? Vitality in first. Okay, it doesn't look like there's enough. Oh! I'm reading this map the wrong way. On Animal Crossing, you always speed it up, even if it's new because you read a lot faster than it types. Ah. Yeah, I mean, Animal Crossing, though. <laughs> to be fair. Like, ugh. The way that they do their dialogues. It is slow. I think even if even if you're a slow reader, it's really slow. Not only is it slow, but it just makes you go through an unnecessary dialogue tree to go do the simplest of actions. Like, I get it. I think part of it is to instill a style, so to speak, so it feels like you're really interacting with a person. Another part of it could be just to pad it out a bit more because everything happens in real time. But I don't know. I feel like they could cut those dialogues. If they're going to do that, like, they need to introduce- I hope with the next one they introduce bulk actions. Like, okay, they do. Five and ten, but what if I want thirty? Am I really going to go through that same thirty second exchange? 
multiple times. You want to fill your entire island with flowers. Do you know how many 30 second dialogue conversations you have to have just to get that done? It'll take longer to acquire the flowers than it would to plant them. That's when something's fundamentally wrong. I'm a little put off at the angle that I'm going and I don't think I've ever seen the map go in this direction. Okay, and then it's still heading in that direction, okay. Uh, put it into that, bind it to triangle, alright, cool. I can now slow down projectiles. And reveal stuff, which is a useful skill. Ow. Ooh, this is a little too much stuff that can blow up in my face for my liking. I'm just trying to see that the waypoint isn't back here. Ah, that's why there was so much crap here. That makes sense. Okay. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. I hope I find this waypoint soon. Shit. That is pretty well blocked off. Waypoint, come on, waypoint, waypoint, waypoint. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on, it has to be here. I've either missed it or it's at the very edge of this map. Okay. 
Okay, slow down. I need to recover stamina. Oh shit, this is the edge of the map. Oh, thank fuck. Jeez. <laughs> Gonna look. Alright, I mean, no worries. Well. Rest up. Oh shit. How may I be of help? Yeah, let's just buy all that. Uh, let me see, 26, 27, and then hold the rest until 30. Okay, it'll work. I'll get indirect damage from the upgrades. I got those to sell. <laughs> Oh, no. That's not what I want to see right away. I might have to save an exit this one. That's way too risky. Unless they... Uh, it's possible they could have died to the poison, but I'm not going to risk it. Nah, fuck those things. If they get me in a series of stun hits, I'm dead. That's not about to happen. Hello. Not here. I fucking hate it when that happens. When you they put an enemy like right at the doorway and you can't kill it quick enough, like Okay. Yeah, let's I got the waypoint, so it shouldn't be too bad. Since I'm doing this, I'm gonna go refill my bottle of water, so give me like a minute. Less than a minute. But yeah, I'll be back. Just gotta get more water.
Okay, a little over a minute. I, my uh, little recycling tub thing was full, so I went to put it with the other stuff. I have a little tub for trash, and I have a little tub for recycling. So, okay. Hopefully, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hope that this doesn't go all the way back. Sometimes it does do that. The annoying thing is I don't know which orientation this is in. Okay, I think I got it right. Yep, that's correct. Oh no! <laughs> My other follower! Oh, that's- okay, yeah, that's why. Multiple shot. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's one of the more brutal affixes. Wait. No. I've got this wrong. Hang on. This is the left edge, so then... Okay, never mind. I might be in the middle of the battlefield again. Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Why couldn't this have been before? I was looking for the waypoint for ages, and it was at the end, and now it's at the start. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm, I'm running up this whole thing again. I mean, whatever, it's more experience at the end of the day. Okay, there we go. What? Oh, there's multiple elites here. Fuck. They really know how to give me a hard time here. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh oh, that's not good. I could go inside, but this elite is known for dropping le- well, not legendary, uniques. They're not called legendaries in this game. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's a helm there. I should probably check it out. If nothing else for my follower. I'll probably go rehire her after the next checkpoint. So then she catches up on levels, because I think that's why she's dying too much, is she's behind now. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> Those enemies look very hard to 1v1 as a melee later. Back to Act 1. 
Yes. Uh, Shazza! <laughs> I can't hire the same one, so. Okay, now she's level 25. There we go. I'll put that to good use. Greetings. Not here. 28 versus 27. Nah, it's not worth it. Okay. I'll put that to good use. Wait, why is that in here? Get out. Ah, uh, that might be the problem. She doesn't have good armor. I'll put that to good use. I don't want to give her one of my rune word armors, but this is probably a good idea to give. And then again, it's just Tal Earth. Okay. Like, Tal Earth is easy to get back if I die. Okay, give her Tal Earth. Not in town. I'll put that to good use. There we go. She should be more durable now. The order welcomes you. Greetings. Not in town. Go back to Harrogath. Good afternoon. I keep forgetting to swap to the bow <laughs> to get the discount. I need to be more aware of it. Okay. She's way more helpful <laughs> that she's doing damage appropriate for her level. And then at level 30 she's going to be way more useful because then she'll have the frozen arrow. And that is inv invaluable in terms of helping me out. Shit, that's... Mm, okay. This is either going to save me time or it's a bad move. We'll see. This is the next waypoint, so if I can get to it... These skeletons are fucking scary. If three of them charge you at once in later difficulties, it's a one-shot. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can survive it. It's just... I've had many a scenario where those things are like in the dark and they charge out of nowhere and then you die. Come, no thank you. Okay, maybe now. <laughs> I was gonna leave it, but... Oh, I hope I'm heading in the right direction. Not enough mana. I've either got in the Ooh, what is hold on. Anymore. I've either got in the map where Damn it, three socket. Okay. Ooh. Either the white point is to the left or 
Ooh, this is a tough call. Uh, hang on. Go that. Okay, now we have decoy. Gonna do that for the time being. Ugh. It's either the waypoint or the place that I need to go that's here. It is waypoint. Alright, sweet. I saved myself some time. Then come back here. And then just head to the opposite direction of where that door was and it should be where I need to go. Yep, so head down this way. That's an elite. Not enough. I have to run here. They, if they get three strikes on me, I'm probably gonna die. Okay, that should be enough poison. Just run. Cool. They killed my follower. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, I'll go get her back once I reach the door. The whole deal is, like, every single attack, they increase their attack speed. And they can stun you. So it just becomes this thing where if there's a pack of them, like, that's it. You're gonna get ripped apart. Uh, sure. Okay. Let's go... Get her back. Afternoon. Afternoon. Thank you. Oh, yeah, right. I rescued... Yeah, I forgot to turn that in. Okay. That's fine. Uh, do I need to combine any of these to make room? Nah, let's just keep them. And this is the one page in my inventory that's going to be organized. <laughs> oh, along with the gems, I guess, as well, to some extent. Like, this page is pretty neat. Aside from the bottom, but, ugh. I'm not perfect. Hello. Okay. Again with the elite, like, right at the door. Gonna say that's worth good money, I should take it. Not enough Not 
not enough mana. Okay. I'm trying to think where this would be. I think it's a U-shape, if I'm looking at this correctly. Ooh, that's bad. Maybe their AI is less aggressive here. But these are the kind of, like, insta-death scenarios that I need to watch out for in the later difficulties. I hope I got this right. loop back. Okay, hang on. I think it is in that direction. I just need to go further down and around. Even more. Don't touch that. Might be it. Okay, don't risk it. Go back. Stay a while and listen. Mm -mm -mm. Good evening. Ah, oh, it wasn't worth that much. As long as I sell one piece for like about ten grand, that'll Evening. that'll help fuel this. Not here. Yep, that's it over there. This is a bit awkward because these skeletons are going to keep resurrecting. He's gonna explode. 
I'm not falling for that again. Yeah, all my resistances are at 75 now. Cool. Now this part, which is fucking frightening, but I'll try. Um, I think I need to take it slowly, to be honest. I'll put that to good use. Nah, it's a damage down. Put that to good use. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I hate this, but oh, yeah, I'll just wait. <laughs> I don't think I have the damage to run through this and take them out quick enough that I don't get swarmed. Like, I'm gonna be safe. Two more. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, come on! Stop resurrecting! Okay. This should be enough to be able to back away. I'm not taking any chances with that. Okay, gloves and an axe. Uh, lightning resist 26. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Half freeze duration, light radius attack. Yeah, okay. Definitely an upgrade. What about the ring? No, okay. <laughs> I've had to farm this area so many times that I know this map like the back of my hand. Because I was trying to get an item for this character originally when I was playing him. I heard that this was one of the spots where you could get it a bit easy, if you were lucky. I did not get lucky, ultimately, but I did sort of sit on the couch and play this as I was watching TV. So I've learnt the layouts that it can generate, not by looking it up, but just the sheer number of times that I went through this set of floors. Also, I was looking for the waypoint there like an idiot. That's not what I was supposed to do. Waypoint is next floor. This floor should be up here. There we go. 
Okay, now this is where I should have checked. Wow, this if this was a harder difficulty, I would probably reset and try and get a different run. This is frightening. Okay, uh, I'm not sure the waypoint is up here, but we'll see. It's not up here, okay. Probably need to go back. I'm gonna pick up stuff to sell. I can't carry anymore. I need money. Unfortunately, it's not letting me run. Uh, no. Can't check it. Alright. Going back. Good afternoon. Yes. Not in town. Grush. You? Okay. Not in town. It's not in this direction, so it would have to be in the middle then. There we go. Okay, and then from here, this should be straightforward. Well, okay. <laughs> Barricade of enemies, but aside from that, straightforward. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to try and find a three open socket chest piece. It's kind of important that I do. Uh, I'm just trying to think what the best way to go about that would be. Okay, evil urn sets to the left. Right? Yeah, evil urn. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly. this part. <laughs> Stupid corpse explosion. Okay, get back. He's doing it. Go, go. Oh, there you are. Good day. Twenty-six percent cold resist. All right, that's better than what I have. Uh, ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, but no, nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna play barbarian in hardcore. Like, it's not gonna happen. Do I have anything else? See, that one's not bad either. It adds attack rating and mana. It might be worth taking this one instead for now. Because I've already maxed out my resist anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. The rest is just backup gear. Afternoon. I need to talk to her. Okay. Hey, Lala, what's up, dude? How's it going? You had to poison my my real world with some other food that I should look out for. <laughs> Just kidding.
man, it's pretty funny though. This is like the third time it's happened. We talk about something and then not not long after I just I see it. It's pretty funny. I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm sure you can come up with something as well. Okay, don't go that way. I would want to hit level 30 before the Ancients. Or at least level 29. So, I'll try and do it, because I think it's a free level up when you go Ancients. the wrong direction. How's the uh, Final Fantasy grind going? You know what, if you would have been here earlier, we were talking about pizza. And cursed pizzas, so to speak. So I think you probably could have contributed to that conversation. I was showing chat, uh, Brazilian pizzas and just how they're a different genre of pizza. Wait, have I ever gotten a back crack that's deep in the right way? Not a back crack, but I know what you're talking about. Okay, hold up, I have to check this. Two open so- damn it. I forgot to sell, sell this. That's probably worth something as well, because it's uh, a plus one. What kind of pizza? Well, I showed off um, the contribution we have in Australia to, like, a type of pizza that would make an Italian person just be like, Oh, dear God, no. Um, and, you know, I mentioned Sweden's banana and curry pizza. And then the Brazilian genre of pizza where, like, they'll have segments of different kinds and then they'll put something in the middle of it, like a whole roast chicken. But, um, I guess since you weren't here, this is our contribution to it. It's like, standard pizza with the same thing as stuffed crust, but then this bit on the end... That is a meat pie. That's from Pizza Hut, so... <laughs> yeah. It sounds legit. I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I would eat it, but it's... Kind of a worlds collides kind of thing, you know? I don't know, just- it's a case of just have the two separately. It's in the realm of like what they do with Brazilian pizza. It could be two whole separate meals, but they m amalgamate it into one abomination. It's a- that thing is a very limited thing, like, I think the two that pop up are that and the, uh, Vegemite pizza, which... It's not as bad as you would think, it's not like a lot of Vegemite, it's just something that has just the amount required. Pizza and meat pie sound good individually. They- yeah, they're good individually. Together, I don't know. It's not like, 
like the way you would eat that clearly is you would tear off the part with the meat pie right like you wouldn't eat a pizza slice in the normal way and then when you get to the crust just like continue eating it's just it's that's not a thing there is it's really awkward it stops being viable the moment you have to treat a particular aspect of it differently You could fold it? Uh, yeah, but... I, am overburdened. I don't know. That's as creative as Pizza Hut Australia has gotten. You like pies? You like pizza? Well, how about you take both and put them on the one fucking thing, you know? Four and twenty pies right on the crust. Fucking delicious. I hate that I have to zigzag here just to make sure I got the waypoint. Anyway, that was on the topic of Curse Pizza, and there's Twitter accounts that are dedicated to uh, photos of Cursed Pizza. It reminds you of Portlandia, the whole joke about putting a bird on things except its pies. Yeah. It's such an overkill thing. It's not necessary. There we go. Waypoint. Do I need to go for a refill? Maybe. Let's just do a replenish. Whoa. Lagged a little. I'm sure it's not the strangest thing you can come up with. Like, I've seen... Pizza with Taro, for example. Good evening. Some of the pizzas they do in Southeast Asia, they're kind of, uh... On that save wavelength. I think they did a, uh... Durian Pizza as well, in Pizza Hut. I can't remember what country though, I think it was Malaysia. Or Singapore, I can't remember. It was like one of those countries. Okay, this will let me hit 29, and then 30 will be when I finish the Ancients. Have I seen Cheetos and Milk? I have not, but I have heard of it. But I don't know, I feel like that's comedy food. I don't think anyone would unironically eat that. There's plenty of stuff ex that exists out there that's just like... Let's go viral by ma putting two foods together that shouldn't be together. Damn it, Ethereal. I mean, it's not weird because effectively it's like cheesy milk, right? Which, you know, sounds disgusting if you say those two words together, but... Mm, 
Yeah, I mean, does it convert it into like a ch something that I guess is more akin to like a like a gravy, if you know what I mean? I feel like it would have that sort of effect on it, and that's why it's appealing. Uh, I think this is still better just because of the attack speed. But I'll keep it because it'll probably sell well. Like, I know Javelin's the attack speed stat is the more prominent one. If you're doing throwing. It does help for jabbing, but I'm not really jabbing that much. So, the thing with Cheeto Cheetos here is, like, we only have the one flavor. Oh, no, that's not true. I think recently we got the bacon one, but... And the very spicy ones have been, like, a very limited time thing. They're not a regular thing. Our snack and drink selection is pretty woeful compared to America's. You've also heard vanilla ice cream and soy sauce. That's... There's different flavors of Cheetos. I thought there's like a, a basic cheese one, a flaming one, and then there's bacon. Hang on. Aren't the flaming- don't the flaming ones count as like a different flavor? Let me take a look. Yeah, so we have... Cheese and bacon balls. We have the flaming hot ones. We have the basic cheese. And then... Like a barbecue one. Which... We're limited. There are bacon cheese Cheetos in Australia. I look up bacon... Bacon and cheese ball Cheetos. Wow. We might- we might actually have a one-up on you then. Okay, but the statement still stands. In general, we don't have that many combinations. The thing that we absolutely go mental on is Pepsi Max. And I know Pepsi Max doesn't exist in America. It's Diet Pepsi. But Pepsi Max is better. Good to see you. Oh, don't forget to hold up. Well, I just meant in terms of flavors of food and drink. Like, for example, we only have, uh, like one flavor of Mountain Dew, all right? In terms of Coke, it's just vanilla and sometimes lemon as the different flavors that you can get. They don't really do cherry Coke here. Pepsi Max is like an alternative to Diet Pepsi. It tastes a lot different. It's zero sugar. And it is very, very popular here and in Europe. To the point where, like, people will go out of their way to get it. You know how people get annoyed if they ask if Pepsi is okay for the drink? Here, they don't get annoyed if it's Pepsi Max. In fact, if you go to KFC, some of them default to just Pepsi Max as the beverage they offer. And then on top of that, there's, like, different flavors of it. So there's the, the default one. Then we have a mango one. Uh, we have a flavor that's known as creaming soda, which is kind of like a raspberry type flavor. They have vanilla. And then they also had lemon at one point as well, but that kind of came in and out. Do 
But yeah, Code Red and Baja Blast, we don't have that here. I remember the day I saw Red Mountain 2 and I was like, what the fuck? Red Mountain 2? Oh, I may as well walk at this point. Um, let me just make sure I level up. But yeah, if you have the means, try Pepsi Max. If you're not a Pepsi person, I think you'll enjoy Max. It'll change your mind about it. Wait, there's a USA flavored Mountain Dew? The most fancy beverage we had was, uh, Blue Pepsi, which was very limited in the early 2000s. There's Pink Mountain Dew, damn. See, but that's what I mean, it's... With us, in terms of drinks, I would say one type of drink has no more than three alternate flavors, with the exception of, uh, Pepsi Max, because for whatever reason we just went absolutely mental with that one. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Orangina is the only fizzy drink for you, though. Orangina is legit. I can attest to that. I will say, though, if you have the means, try Bundaberg ginger beer. It's an Australian ginger beer. It is super good. High on the recommendation list of Aussie things to try. Oh, why did I why did I do that? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> the fabled home of the ancients. That distracted them long enough for me to get plague javelins in. Flaming hot mountain dew, what? That's a thing. Bundaberg has a fuck ton of sugar in it. Um, they have a sugar free Bundaberg as well, but you probably don't get that over there. It's also sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, which is the lesser of the two evils. Like, we don't do that shit here. Stop leaving! <laughs> Being tripped up by 2D sprites. There we go. Okay. And that, that, and that. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me if Mountain Dew is the most popular drink. You know, the stereotype is that Americans love ranch dressing and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Those are the two things. Ranch isn't really a thing here. Like, we have alternatives to ranch, but it's just not a thing. And then other part of the world, other parts of the world, it's like just labeled as American sauce, which is pretty funny. Salutations. Why can't we just have America and not the USA? Because, to be fair, the Americas is a region of the world, and I think that's the technicality. I once met someone that was annoyed by me calling it the States. Or people in general, like, saying, referring to the US as the States. No idea why, he wouldn't elaborate, but just apparently did not like it. Besting the eight. Not in town. Pib will forever be in your heart. What's Pib? Never heard of Pib. See, drink variety. Oh, what am I doing? Join Canada and Mexico into a massive government? That would never happen. There are too many people that just have unironic views that will clash with that particular goal. To be fair, the states is weird because other countries have states. This is true, but there's no other country that's more proud or of said states. Nor does any other country have the word states in the name of their country. So it's not the concept of the fact that states exist, it's just, it's in, it's part of the name. I don't think any other country has 50, <laughs> either. I mean, provinces, sure, but they're not the same thing. Oh wow, that was lucky. So here, here's the awkward thing, is like, I really should look for a three open socket armor piece, but... You can only really do that through cows reliably. So I might just have to risk it. I think I can get through it. On the other hand, you bet a lot of Americans don't even know there are other countries with states. Yeah. No doubt about that. We had a TV show here that 
went to America and showed Americans a jumbled up map of the world. And they asked them all these weird questions. A scary one was, and to be fair, I think they were in Florida, so it tracks why it would have been scary. They asked, like, what country should America go to war with next? And people had answers to it. But, you know, they were pointing out to particular countries on the map that were clearly incorrect. The classic one was they had labeled Australia incorrectly. So, like, uh, we have a southern state that's on its own island. So they'd labeled that state South Korea and then the mainland North Korea. And then they did shit like uh, flipping Canada and the US on the map. And people just didn't click. The other one, without showing them a map, they asked them, can you name a country starting with the letter U? And one of them answered, Yugoslavia. Another one didn't know. Until the reporter said, United States. And then one of them dressed up in a green and gold jumpsuit. And went around telling everyone he was the Prime Minister of Australia. And people wanted to get photos with him. Which that one, that's fair. Like, you guys aren't going to know who the Prime Minister of Australia is. That's a, that's a fair one. They also asked some people what KFC stands for. They did not know that. Or like what state it was from. We have computers in our pockets. Yeah, I know. But there's certain things that you should just be able to answer on the spot. I don't know. Without too much issue. I mean, to be fair, like, Australia has a state that's, uh... Let's just say not... Not that far off. And I think every country has a region where... You would get those kind of people where they don't know basic geography and that kind of thing. This is going to be interesting because I'm going to have to do a lot of running back here. I just want to make sure this path is clear. I don't want anything interjecting as I'm running back. Okay, seems clear to me. not so bad. It's the last two that are the ones that are concerning. I 
So we'll have to go back to town to quickly get rid of the poison. Otherwise it's going to keep draining my health. I have an antidote, never mind. We good, we good, we good. Yeah. <laughs> my Valkyrie got just melted. I'll we'll survive long enough for me to get plague javelins in. It serves its purpose. Okay. These are the scary ones. I can't remember if they have poison immunity. Okay, these ones don't. It's the next to difficulty that does. It's just the rate these ones move at. You should probably study geography a little more. You just made yourself feel dumb. I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with not knowing things. It's just, I don't know. If you live in the United States and they ask you to name a country starting with the letter U, you would hope that that's the first option you think of. Or the only option. You know? Oh shit, right. I hate these assholes. Just the stupid knockback stun hit. And they leech life. They're just irritating. As long as you know you can't drive to Hawaii. Exactly. Or if you do attempt to, at least you have the common sense not to follow the GPS into the ocean. As long as you get that far. Well, I'm gonna hightail it out. There's Ukraine, United Kingdom. Yeah, there's plenty. Uganda as well, but... Evening. I mean, look, you would hope that the United States of America would be the first thing you thought of. Good evening. Not in town. Not in town. Are they dinosaurs? No, they are demons. Angry demons trying to kill. It, it's already healed, like, that's how annoying it is. We good. You love playing the original Diablo game, haven't played the second one. The second one is considered the best. It's still holds up to this day. I mean, this is resurrected, so... It doesn't quite play the same as the original, but... I mean, you can do this in any, at any given point, which is nice. Oh, this looks very different in classic graphics. It's more red. And less dark, even. It's bright. 
Okay, well, we're up to date, so let's just keep leveling this up. Uh, do I need to go back? Mmm, that, that should have enough here, hopefully. The world's still. The only annoying thing this dude has is, like, the mana. The mana killing shit, but... Fucking duplicated itself. Oh, that's annoying. I might have to bail on this. I'm gonna run out of resources, so hold up. Not Just foreshadowing what's gonna happen. He doesn't always do it. He did it this time, so I'm gonna have to deal with it. What is it? Can I help you? Okay. I think I'm attacking the copy here, but it doesn't matter. Just get rid of the copy. Okay. Back to normal. Wow, she just survived. Okay. Alright, survive the first difficulty. Is truly done. I can't carry uh, I mean... Some of the stuff will probably sell well. Hang on. I can... I don't think... Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Well, never mind. I can't carry anymore. Stop it. Talk the material. Where's the door? There it is. Is that Diablo? No, that's Tyrael. It's an angel. Oh, you mean the boss that I fought? That is, uh, Bale. Diablo was the pre previous act. How may I be of help? Sometimes I'm lazy and I just drop the cube <laughs> to get the items out of it. Yeah, that was worth a lot. Okay, and then I'll, I guess I'll pick these up. Yeah, the boss was Bale. I am overburdened. Different dude. Okay. It's the first difficulty cleared. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to see the rest of it. Okay, I will continue playing. However, I'm going to split the VOD that I'm recording. So that concludes, I guess, the second part of this. <laughs> but the base difficulty is done. We'll move on to nightmare mode. Which, that's where I'm going to have to start watching it.